Welcome to number four of four of our four rituals to change your life. And we started this process on spring equinox of 2021. Um, we have journeyed through this whole past year of, well, really nine months of facing, of, of creating our goals, facing our obstacles to those goals, reconfiguring those goals so that they're workable, clearing obstacles. And um, <clears throat> one thing about this process that uh, it is just the case of magic in general, but I don't say this in the beginning because otherwise you wouldn't do it, is that when you are headed for a goal, when you set a goal, the pursuit of that goal will reveal to you all the other little obstacles and goals that must be achieved in order to get to that one. So you set your intention, you think you're over here with it, but then you might realize along the way that you've got a detour over here, over here, over here. You've got to clear something. You've got to get rid of something. You've got to cleanse something. You've got to reframe. And then you come to here. And here's where we are now, which is now that we've spent this year clearing, shifting, changing paradigms. Now we're at the point of manifestation. And it's almost as if this whole year, the nine months, has been drawing back the, the bowstring on the arrow, drawing it back and getting that tension. And now we're going to let it fly. So if anyone cares to share, I'm going to tell you what I have for my stuff. Um, the scent I've got here, because I did choose a scent. I also have a candle, so I have both. I have, um, <laughs> the, the scent I have is the original vial that I made of um, Aphrodite's scent in the temple, which is her nights of pleasure. I, this is the very first vial I made of it. And I just refill that vial from time to time, but I only usually wear it in her month because I usually wear the goddess's scents in their particular month. So I don't wear it every day. Um, so I'm going to apply my scent. Does anyone else have a scent that you want to share tonight? A, a, a smell that you, that you have? Feel free to unmute yourself and share if there's one that's important to you or that you'd care to, to disclose to the group. I have, I have one that I just got recently. It's Penhaligon's Cairo. It was a little sample. Mm -hmm. Nice. And it's, it's really, uh, it's really unusual. That sounds great. It's unusual. It's not one that you've worn before. You don't really have a lot of connection with it already. So you, it's perfect to use for this. Great. All right. So then I have my drink. My drink is pink grapefruit juice because I actually love pink grapefruit juice, but I forget that. And Albert doesn't like it at all. So I hardly ever buy it, but I've got my thing of pink grapefruit juice and I'm going to be sipping that. Does anyone else, what's, what's your, what's your beverage? Anyone else care to share? What's your bev? Go ahead, Maya. What's in your cup? It's, I'm so excited about this. It's, it's macadamia nut, white chocolate, peppermint flavored macadamia nut. I've never had. So <laughs> it sounded good. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Cheers. Anyone else have a special bev? Well, I have my favorite single malt scotch. Go on, Joanne. It, it's from the island of Scapa, and I haven't bought it in like two years. Uh, and I was lucky to find a bottle. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's, that's amazing. And Hecio Sorayam says Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. All right. So great. All right, so those are beverages and feel free to share if you have any others. You can take a sip if you want. We're, we're getting started gently. I made um, an Afghan drink. It's called Shir Chai. 
and it's like a salted milk with cardamom and sugar. Are you kidding me? This is really like everything I love about chai and about Tibetan butter tea in one. The salt, the cardamom, the spices. That's amazing. Is it sweet at all also? Yeah, it is sweet. I put sugar in it. Sweet and salty. Oh, yeah. oh that's amazing. Great. So we've got our drinks. Okay, so what do you have for snacks? I have organic goji berries. Who else cares to share a snack? Let's see. Nobody, there's no one else who wants to confess what your snack is. All right. Oh, blackberry. Dark chocolate. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I love Maya. You are doing it up. You're having holiday. You know how to live. That sounds amazing. And um, orange peel chocolate says Hekio Sarayam. Amazing. Great. Good job, everybody. Good job with your snacks. So I'm going to go ahead and crack open my goji berries and just go ahead and have one. I'll be nibbling on these throughout. I really love goji berries in tea, by the way. Adding a couple of them into a cup of tea is so good. And then at the end, you eat them and they plumped up like grapes and they're kind of like a little pop in your mouth. It's so delicious. Okay. What is your magical garment? I'm wearing, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, let me blow out this candle that's over here so that I don't catch myself on fire because I've almost caught myself on fire like three times tonight. I'm, ha I'm definitely having solstice magic over here. Okay. I got myself this pink dress. So do you see it's like, it's made out of sari silk. It's just like a little dress. And this is my magical outfit. I've never worn it before. I saved it for tonight. I fell in love with this dress and I was like, oh my God, I have to have this pretty, pretty pink dress. I, are you kidding? This is like the most Aphrodite thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like Aphrodite and Holly Hobby had a baby and that's me. So I'm in, that's like my total style. So I'm in my pink dress. How about you all? Show me your outfits. Who's wearing cute things for your magic tonight? Who has magic out magic outfit? Go ahead, Holly, Devana. Oh, hey, I'm not even on mute yet. Um, <laughs> I bought this uh, beautiful Ukrainian shawl a while back, and I almost never have occasion to wear it. <sighs> but oh my god, it's so lovely. It's gonna be my my uh, magic shawl here. Magic shawl, perfect, beautiful. Anyone else have an outfit they want to share? Little fashion show time. Or maybe you're just wearing your same lucky black shirt. That's also fine. Uh -huh, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm awesome. What you? Oh, look at that sparkle, sparkleicious business, Linda. Yeah, this was from our first um, first ceremony that we had here in Gettysburg, where we honored some women, and every woman got a shawl. So this is the first one of the first ones. Oh, I love it! That's wonderful. What a tribute to your circle, as well as a personally empowered garment. Great. Okay. So, is there anybody who has a special candle? Because I have a special candle. I'm going to show you my special candle. Priestess Shauna, who's here tonight, sent me some candles in the mail for Christmas for Yule. And I finally, the package I had, you know, we had a snowstorm and everything went crazy the other day. So it took a while for it to get to me, but I got it today. And I, I hope no one's offended, but when I say this out loud, but it says on it, motherfucking homeowner. <laughs> it's so perfect. Because this, this was like such a year of sort of battling 
that whole process. And I'm so terrible at stuff like that, but man, I did it. So I love this. Thank you so much, Priestess Sean. It's such a meaningful gift. And Albert immediately grabbed the other ones that you sent. He loved the smell of them. He's like, I'm going to put this one in my bathroom. I'm going to put this one in the other. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, from Virgo to Virgo, you have great taste. Uh, so I've got my candle lit up. Anyone else have any magical candle going on? Ooh, Linda's got a skull candle. Nice. Sean has got, is that one of uh, Priestess Zia's candles? Yes. It's oh. rosemary. Oh, I love it. The rosemary Hecate candle. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Our scent, our food, our drink, our outfit, the candle. So now... Do you have your paper and pen? Do you have your sacred phrase? Your short phrase, very short, as short as you can make it because you're going to write it a hundred times. Mine is, you glow, girl. Because you might remember that my original intention was to um, lose weight, uh, take better care of myself and honor my glow up. So I didn't lose the weight, but I did everything else. I've decided I'm, I'm totally comfortable with that part. Oh, nice. Home sweet home is ours is Devana's great. My time to shine. Perfect. Shauna go. I love it. Anyone else care to share your phrase? Feel free. You can type it into the chat. Um, you know, or you can t pull yourself off mute and tell it to us. Space and tranquility are mine, says Tracy. Beautiful, nicely done. All right, so we've got our, our pads and our pens. I do have two pens just in case the one runs out. I actually have three, but one of them is technically a marker, but if I had to, I could use it. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do this sensory um, immersion, where basically we're going to take a little moment, we're gonna bless all of these different objects and then we're going to sip our drinks, nibble our snacks, smell the scent, look down at the clothing, enjoy the candle, whatever else we decide we need to do as we write our phrase 100 times. And as we're doing this, what's happening is that the part of our consciousness that um, registers the phrase is occupied. Okay, great. It has something to do. I'm writing. I'm writing this important words. That's what I have to do. I have a job. I'm very important, says the front part of the brain. I'm going to write this important phrase over and over and over. And that is exactly what we need the front of the brain to do because the back end of the brain is going to be like, what's this taste? What's this drink? What's this snack? What's this color? What's this smell? What's this phrase actually mean to me deeply? And the part of our brain that actually manifests reality is going to have the front part completely occupied so that it can do its sacred work. This is the mechanism of this magic. It's not mere psychology. It works on the unseen level. The part of you that is, was, and always will be the divine knower of things and the divine agent of manifestation is going to have a complete sensory immersion. Then after this, over the course of the next three months, if you ever feel like you're flagging in your goal, if you ever feel depressed or despondent or like things aren't working out, if you ever feel worried or anxious that things aren't going your way, 
You're going to get out that snack. You're going to go get some of that drink. You're going to put on that outfit. You're going to light the candle. You're going to wear the scent and it's going to jumpstart the magic that's embedded in the matrix that is you, the mother of all things, of all creation. That is you. So let's get ourselves ready. Go ahead and pick up this scent. You can wave it under your nose. And I'm gonna just make sure everyone's on mute, but please repeat after me. By the power of this sensual scent. By the power of the sensual scent. May my objectives come to pass. May my goals be met. Now take a sip of your drink. By the power of this delicious drink, may my objectives be met. May my goals be accomplished. Take a bite of your snack. By the power of this delicious food, may my objectives be met. May my goal be accomplished. And give yourself a hug and look down and feel what you're wearing. By the power of this sacred garment, may my objectives be met. May my goal be accomplished. And take up your pen and paper and write by the power of my will, so mote it be. By the power of my will, so mote it be. Now, I'm going to pull up some manifestation music. Get that. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. Just a sec. Oops. Nope. Get my screen share.
sip of your drink, have a little snack. Don't forget to program.
waiting for others to finish or get a little further anyway. But if you're finished, you can type the name of your theme song into the chat if you'd like it to be added to the playlist. Close. Okay, if you're not done yet, we'll give it another minute or so. Yeah, 
another bed or snack. There's a beer drink. into the chat if you have one so I can add it to the playlist and no pressure if you don't want to It's okay if you haven't. You can keep going. You can keep writing even after we close this. And we've got quite the little playlist going on here. Okay, great. Thank you. I was looking for that one. Hey everybody, I'm gonna um, pull up my screen. Good, okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to put myself on mute and we should all be on mute. And wherever you're at in your process is fine. If you're not done, that's okay. You can finish when we're done. But now what we're gonna do is as if we were reciting a mantra, but we're gonna do it with our eyes on the page we're now going to read this aloud 100, 100 times or 108 times, however many you wrote down. So I'm gonna mute myself so that you don't hear me. I'm gonna make sure all of you are muted too. Okay, all right, ready, set, go.
Awesome. All right, everyone I can see is done. <clears throat> oh, great. Thanks, Joanne. Let me get that. Add it to the list. All right. All right, everybody. So now there's really only one thing left to do. Believe it. That's it. You did it. I've made, I've for everyone who sent me a song, um, I've added it to the YouTube for Rituals to Change Your Life playlist. I put the videos there. I will you know, download and, or, you know, upload this video and post the whole playlist to the group tomorrow. And we will be meeting one more time, not to do ritual, but just to <clears throat> open up our eggs and compare notes. Oh, great. Okay. Here we go. Let me get that one. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be a really Smoking playlist. Got it. And Okay. Got it. All right, goddesses. We are going to gather together again one last time on the spring equinox to crack open those eggs compare notes see how it all went i wish you all a blessed solstice go on with the rest of your evening enjoy your snacks drink your drink smell your smells feel your feels and play your song for yourself and we'll we'll check in again just one season, one short season from now. Bye. Good night.